this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Legend 3! We've got to get our revenge on Dogra for kidnapping Lara, and apparently he thinks I bear a resemblance to Borgen, I guess. Maybe he's just a kid in this time period, because I know he was from the future. Eh, whatever. Anyway, we've got to uh, take out Dogra and his two sidekicks here. Uh, use arrow on them, because they are resistant to fire, so that's the way we want to go. Have Lara use lightning on Dogra there, that should take him out. Or, well, start working on taking him out, that is. He's got a lot of HP. Boss fights in this game are more like a battle of attrition, so uh, you got to make sure you got your healing and everything, you know? I don't know how these guys, the guys who programmed this game figured it out, and the guys who make the main Final Fantasy series can't, but... You know, in this game, we actually have to have a dedicated healer for boss fights. What a concept! I mean, it's amazing. It's, like, they can't figure it out. But, uh, yeah, um, Curtis is going to be my dedicated healer there with Cure 2 potions. Because uh, Dogra is actually remotely challenging. He's got some pretty powerful attacks. Ow! Oh, that almost killed him. But fortunately, we are faster than Dogra. So, uh, yeah, with the wind-up, you gotta join, have Lara join in with a Cure 1 spell because a Cure 2 potion still won't do enough to uh, heal him all the way. But other than that, I mean, once you can keep up with his damage, uh, you're pretty well set. Just, you know, take your time. You'll get him eventually. Okay, that wasn't so bad. But still, I do want to use Cure 2 potions. Wow, he's really laying it on me. I might run out of Cure 2 potions. Nuts. But anyway, as long as we're fighting Dog right here, I thought I would uh, just quick go over what my plans are for after the boss fight. Because we should be, if not at level 9, we should be pretty darn close. So we want to start thinking about using the other jab classes. Uh, Arthur, I want to make into a beast. Well, he's already a beast, but a real beast. Um, essentially, what you got to do is give him any meat, monster or beast meat, doesn't matter, and you'll transform him into a beast. Curtis, I want to make into a cyborg. To do that, I want to give him any parts, cyborg parts, uh, robot parts, doesn't matter, just give it to him and he'll transform into a cyborg. Sharon, I eventually want to make her into a robot, but you have to make her into a cyborg first. So we'll start with that. And uh, eventually, as a cyborg, give her robot parts to transform her into a robot there. The reason we want to start using the other jab classes is because they get talents, or one of the reasons. Uh, just like in the previous two games. However, this time, talents don't have spell charges, and they don't cost anything like MP. Um, but just so you know, monsters or any other jab class, they're grouped into level ranges of two. So you can't just transform into something obscenely powerful early in the game. Uh, for every two levels, there's like four monsters, four beasts, two cyborgs, and two robots that you could transform into. And I'll go over like when you want to do transformations and all that stuff as we go for like specific ones. But for right now, we just want to transform into anything that we can get. Huh, he doesn't seem to know much about uh, Borgen there, other than he wants to kill him. But for defeating Dogar, we get the Rover unit. What good's that going to do us? That won't help the Talon move on water, unless you've got power! No, no, it's just a unit for the Talon. It lets it uh, go on land, but that won't really do us a whole lot of good. So, uh, all right, well, that's everything we can do here. We've rescued Lara, defeated Dogra. <laughs> I almost said Granny there. <laughs> so I'll just, uh, I'll meet you back at a line there to bring Lara back there to Granny. And uh, I'm going to record everything on my way back. But I'm only going to show you a battle on the way back if I get a transformation or something. Because uh, the meat and parts drop rate is really low in this game. So you really just want to do it as you go. Don't, like, stop and go out of your way to get that stuff. So I'll meet you back at Alon, then. All right, we've made it back to Alon. So let's do some shopping while we're here. Because uh, we're going to need to get some stuff for, well, the near future. Literally. We want to get a couple soft potions, we'll need those because we're going to start running into some enemies that can get us stoned. And since I'm going to make Sharon into a robot soon, I want to get some HP pills for her because when you get a new robot for the first time, their HP is really, really low. Uh, that's just the way it works. But you can dump a whole bunch of money into HP pills. 
I just want to get enough so that when I transform her into a robot, that she'll be able to survive until after we're done with like all my shopping that I'm going to do. And then I'll spend whatever leftover money I've got on more HP pills for her. So that'll work pretty nice for her. Oh, Granny made it back. All right. How'd she get back here by herself? Yeah, we need to take her back to the future. No, no, well, the present. I guess that's kind of like the future, but uh, yeah. Uh, I wonder if this is like why uh, Chrono sent us back in the first place, because Lara clearly wasn't around in the present. Maybe she originally died in the original timeline. And uh, Kronos sent us back knowing that to rescue her or something like that. But why he didn't tell us to do that, I don't know. But anyway, we get dive magic from Granny. Apparently she's a relative of Dive Man. So yeah, it's a new travel magic. You use it on the shoreline and you can dive into water with it. So we can go underwater. Alright, well, let's head on over there then. Maybe I'll get lucky and uh, get some robot parts for Curtis this time. There's a lot of uh, robots and cyborgs underwater, so that's a pretty good uh, place to try and get that. I'm not going to go out of my way for it, but if I get it, so much the better. So let's head on over to the water. We should equip the dive magic first. Uh, yeah, just give that to Arthur. Whatever, it doesn't matter. And dive! Just like in uh, Zelda games. You know, you press the B button to dive. Or Something like that. Oh, well that was easy. Uh, yeah, how do you think we got here? Hmm. Well, apparently now we can swim, unlike most video games. Let's see what they got around here. Let's see, uh, Silver Sword, but, uh, I'm not gonna care for that much longer, so... Yeah, I'm not gonna bother with that, because I'm gonna make Arthur into a beast and Sharon into a robot. So I don't care about melee weapons. Any good magic? Uh, Confuse? I don't care about, um, as far as the status ailment, uh, well, I suppose I could use it for curing it. I'll think about it. Let me know what you think, viewers. Uh, para inflicts paralysis, uh, but more enemies seem to be susceptible to sleep, and it's cheaper, so I don't know what the point of that is, but anyway. Oh, hmm. I wonder where we can find that if from seed. People keep on telling us about that. Let's check out this house over here. Oh, well, there it is. That was easy. And another soft potion. Can never have enough of those. We should uh, plant that it from seed right by the uh, south cave. Huh. This house seems to be incomplete so far. Well, maybe we should check that out later in the future. Huh. Oh, okay. Well, maybe, I mean, we could wake him up or something. Uh, let's see. Oh, they sell elixirs here. But, yeah, I really don't want to spend money on that. If I've got extra money, I'm spending it on uh, HP pills for Sharon there. All right, we want to get uh, four pendants there. Uh, anything else here? Uh, we can buy better stuff soon enough, so I'm not even going to bother with that. Let's replace those belts with it. Let's see how that does. Well, it's probably more on the magic defense side. It, uh, it's a lot better on magic defense than belts there. But more importantly, it protects you from the cursed status ailment. Uh, well, I guess, no, that's not more importantly. Less importantly. I actually really don't care about the status protection. I just bought it for, uh, the magic defense. Huh. Well, let's just hope it doesn't spread here. We got this empty island here. Hmm. I wonder what that's for. We'll have to, uh, check that out as time goes on. Didn't they say that in, uh... Zelda, it's dangerous to go out alone, or something like that. Oh, of course! Everyone knows dive magic! Don't you, you idiots? Oh yeah, there were those wrecked ships that they were telling us about. Maybe we should uh, go take a look around underwater for those wrecked ships for some hidden treasure! Next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy Legend 3! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.